Hello and welcome to this video on what is sound. This video will cover what sound is, obviously, as well as touch on the three main properties of sound in music, pitch, dynamics, and tone color. The purpose of this video is to provide you with a definition of sound from a musical perspective, which means we will be covering some of the science behind how sound works, but not getting too technical with it. This video is also to help you understand music better through understanding how sound works, since music is a sonic medium. Sound happens when something vibrates. For example, when you talk or sing, your vocal cords in your throat vibrate. You can place your hand on your throat and feel the vibrations when you speak or sing. Our human ears can only pick up sounds that vibrate at certain frequencies. Frequency refers to the speed at which sound waves occur regarding the cycles per second in which they vibrate. The standard unit of measurement for frequency is a hertz, named after the 19th century scientist Heinrich Hertz. One hertz is equal to one complete cycle of a sound wave. The average human hears frequencies from around 20 hertz up to 20,000 hertz. For instance, the lowest note on a standard piano is approximately 25 and a half hertz. Some professional soprano opera singers can sing over a thousand hertz. As we age, the range of frequencies we can hear decreases, especially higher frequencies. Sound waves must also have a medium by which to travel, such as air or water, or even through a wall. This explains why sounds are perceived differently when they travel through varying mediums, like when you hear sound while underwater. It also explains why sound does not travel in a vacuum. Let's say you're standing near a person playing a violin. As that person begins to pull the bow across a string, the string begins to vibrate due to the friction between the bow and the string. The vibrations of the violin string then travel through the air between the string and your ear. You perceive those vibrations as sound. When discussing sound in music, there are three important properties. Those are pitch, dynamics, and tone color. Pitch is defined as how high or low we perceive sounds. Pitch is affected by the frequency of vibrations. For instance, faster frequencies of vibrations produce higher pitches, while slower frequencies of vibrations produce lower pitches. Generally speaking, larger objects that vibrate will produce lower pitches. By contrast, smaller objects that vibrate will produce higher pitches. That being said, large objects can still produce quite high pitches if the frequency of the vibrations it produces are fast enough. Remember, it is how fast or slow something is vibrating, as well as how large or small it is. To illustrate how smaller objects usually produce higher pitches, take the relatively small violin. And notice how the much larger contrabass is capable of producing a much lower pitch. A sound with a clear pitch is called a tone. A sound with an indefinite pitch cannot be called a tone. Some musical instruments can produce a tone or tones. Some musical instruments do not produce tones. What makes a sound a tone is the frequency of it remains fairly constant. Noise-like sounds, such as the sound of your hands clapping together, produce such irregular frequencies of sound that our ears cannot distinguish individual pitches from it. Many musical instruments are designed so that specific tones can be played. Our next property of sound is dynamics. Dynamics is a term that describes the varying degrees of loud and soft in music, what most people call volume. Dynamics are affected by the amplitude of the sound waves. For instance, if a drummer strikes a drum with more force, the sound will have more amplitude. In music, we describe such variations in amplitude as dynamics. Also, the dynamics can change suddenly, 
or gradually. Sheet music can indicate changes in dynamics using an assortment of symbols, and here are a few of them. We will be covering these symbols and their meanings in another video soon, but for now, just know that music that is written down can indicate changes in dynamics. The next property of sound we're going to cover is tone color. Tone color is what makes every sound unique and helps us to distinguish one sound from another. It is what we use to describe how the sound of a trumpet is different than that of a guitar. Tone color is sometimes referred to as T-I-M-B-R-E, which is pronounced timbre. If you would like a more in-depth explanation of tone color, I already have a video dedicated to that. The link to it can be found in this video's description. Whether you are listening to classical music or modern popular music, having terms like pitch, tone color, and dynamics in your vocabulary will make discussing music easier and more precise. All right, let's quickly review what this video covered. First of all, sound is caused by vibrations. Those vibrations occur at different frequencies. The frequency helps determine the pitch. The pitch is also affected by the size of the object. The larger the object, the lower the pitch it can produce. Smaller objects tend to produce higher pitches. What makes a sound a tone is when the frequency stays mostly constant. Some musical instruments can produce tones, while some cannot. Dynamics is what we use to describe the amplitude or loudness of a sound. Dynamics can range from very quiet to very loud, sudden changes, or gradual ones. Tone color is what makes sounds unique outside of pitch and dynamics. It is an instrument or voice's tone color that distinguishes it from others. Timbre is another term for tone color. They both mean the same thing. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. I also have a new website at understandingmusic.net. I just launched it recently, so I'm still in the process of making more content available there, such as study guides, blog articles, and other resources to help both students and teachers.